We've had this big girl for a long time now. It's time for a few upgrades. So I just got home all excited that our fireplace came in, but it looks like it doesn't fit, baby. No, you already see it. It doesn't fit. Yeah, like I said, uh, it won't fit, um, but that's okay. I came up with a solution. But the, uh, that doesn't fit either. Yep. Um, so I cut these. I had them cut. They um, will fit. I just have to put the other one in. I had to cut this one down a little bit more. Um, Are you MacGyvering this situation? More like um, contractoring the situation. Okay. Cabinetry this situation. Couldn't we have just sent it back? We could have, but uh, this is the nicer one. So I want the nicer one with IR, something that can heat our whole house rather than just uh, a little tiny 750 watt. What is heater. this gold LeMay? Are you an interior designer now? Mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Yeah, as you can see, but, I get it done. But we're going to fix it so it doesn't have the gap? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty. I like having a fireplace for once. One that turns on. Yeah, the, the one that came with this Forest River, by the way, never ever buy Forest River. The one that came with this was apparently installed. It's supposed to have a little gap at the top to let air flow into it or else it'll suck and suck and suck and the motor will burn out and then the whole thing shuts down because the board is all like this one single board kind of thing. Um, however, if you install it with the gap at the top, yeah, as, So that's supposed to be there? Yep, that gap's supposed to be there. We're gonna fill okay. it in with this lame, so it's gonna... Oh, yeah, we're gonna put gold, like gold stuff there too? Yeah, but if you, if you did it like that, then of course your heater will probably last for a long time. Ours lasted less than a year. Um, so, uh, and I called them, went through all the forums. Of course, um, to get a factory manager, they're like unicorns. They don't exist for Forest River. All their forums are filled with people going, I've been waiting now for seven years to talk to a factory manager. Seven years. Seven years. I kid you not. Go look them up. Um, so, yeah, we knew we weren't going to get any help from them. So I bought another one. All right. Well, I like it. Are we going to keep all the uh, instructions on it? Because... Mm -hmm. Okay, good. We'll keep the instructions on it. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to see your work. All right. Show your work. Took out the screws so I can slide this out. I just basically got to cut off this tiny, like of an inches, I think. What little bends. Not a great bend, but a good start. Something just arrived here. I am so excited. It is. Oh, wow. This is awesome. I'm stoked. I can't wait to do this, use this. We're going to build a little table for it. That's going to go right there. And then that will be kind of lower, just beneath things. The table will be like just like that, with that, bat. I hope. It's not too wide. It's wider than I thought it was. I thought. <laughs> yep. 
So I actually figured the first thing I should do is not uh, build a shelf or anything like that. I should plug this thing in and see if it works. Uh, came with great reviews. I got it for like 250 bucks on Amazon. The one thing I'm worried about is that our sink has one of these uh, handy dandy little drop down things. And this thing has its own specific connector, which is a sink type connector, which means I might have to take off the end piece of our handy dandy extension hose uh, in order to attach this thing. It looks like these just go on the back and I think I'm going to install this underneath the cabinet and just like boop, have this in the cabinet and have these two come out of the wall just to where the things go. Uh, looking at it, I don't think it's too wide. I think it'll fit there just perfectly. So, so yeah. All right, I'm going to take apart my sink and see uh, about getting this thing attached. You see that guy right there? This is as close as I've gotten to the right part to install our new dishwasher. Now I'm headed back to the store to uh, see if I can find the right part to connect to this part. This dishwasher has proven to be a tough install. So I'm uh, back over to Ace to return a couple of things that I bought earlier today. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can, oh crap, I forgot the receipt. <laughs> hopefully they'll uh, take everything back and uh, I can find the right part that I need. I've been trying to install the dishwasher all yesterday. Although I didn't film much of that. It was the uh, exercise and frustration as I went through every hardware store in my area looking for plumbing fittings and I gotta say something about the whole plumbing world here and that is that uh, standardization goes a long way folks and this whole uh, fact that there's an OD fitting a compression fitting a uh, male iron pipe fitting a female iron pipe fitting uh, all these different sizes of thread all these different sizes of pipe come on come on we need a universal fitting type guys Universal. What's wrong with that? It's how the world gets things done. Just saying. Come on, plumbers. Come on. So after one, two, three, four trips to Ace Hardware, I still wasn't able to get all of the things that I needed to get this thing going, but I am happy with it being here for now. Uh, this is going to be a multi-weekend project. I hate multi-weekend projects. I love it when things are just done. But uh, now that we are, oh, what are we, uh, like nine minutes into the first wash cycle, I'm, uh, I'm already loving the convenience of a dishwasher. Here, here's the thing. That lady right there. She doesn't do the dishes. She don't do the dishes. She don't do the dishes. She don't cook. She don't do dishes. She don't do windows. So I had to get another model. It's a younger model. It's a wider model. Wider? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, uh. I'm already stoked. There's a pot that's in there that I use for pasta and a pesto sauce. And I was like, man, damn thing about pesto is you gotta use so much hot water because it's mostly pine nut oil and olive oil and stuff. You gotta scrub and scrub and scrub and then you feel it on your hands and such. I was like, I'm not looking forward to doing that, especially in a pot, in a sink full of dishes where all the glasses end up coming out like just like that. I'm like, no, no. So that pot is now in the maiden voyage. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it comes out so fresh and so clean. Cause uh, if not, baby's gonna have to wash it. Cute. What, baby? What you doing in the corner? Uh, Did Lumpy put you there? Lumpy put me in. Somebody put baby in the corner. I hear, I hear it doing machinations, water moving around and stuff. So, and it hasn't thrown up E1. E1 means it uh, doesn't have enough water. Oh, uh, why and doesn't it have enough water? Because. Um, you did a bad job? Because I didn't have water flowing to it. Okay. And then E2 means that it's overflowed somewhere. So it's too much water. Mm -hmm. And we have not E1 or E2. 
Excellent. So, so, so far, so good. Yeah. Even though it's like uh, Frankenstein together. Hey, it's not Frankenstein. It's Frankenstein together. together. It's not Franken. It's everything Listen, I don't in love, life is Frankenstein. I don't love it yet. I know you don't love it yet. No, I don't love it yet. Yeah. That's okay. So it just beeped. And it says end. So, let's see. I use salt soap. They recommended to use powder, so I use powder. And this dish is exceptionally dirty. Like, I left it dirty, and I can still see some spots, but this was very dirty, very, very dirty on purpose. This dish came out pretty damn clean. Uh, there's some spots, water spots on this. Other than that, uh, not super stoked about that one. Feels completely clean. Good. I'm going to have to use more Jet Dry. Oh, yeah. This pot had pesto and... Oh, yeah. It feels so clean. It had pesto and pasta and all that. It's still wet, but... Uh, but good. And everything feels so clean. Every time Luna would wash dishes, and I know if she watches this, she'll be like, yeah, it, they'd have a greasy tinge on it. And you'd be like, what the heck is that? Oh yeah, very nice. Is it like better to put your dishes away knowing that you didn't have to wash your dishes? Is there any joy in this? Oh yeah, no, this is, this is very and, and you know, everything has a place. And uh, now this completes the cycle. I feel like I want to cook in this kitchen quite a bit, you know? Yeah. Looking forward to it. It just makes me love our place again more than I did before, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, when, you know, we spent some time Airbnb in this place. Yeah. And that uh, made it feel like not ours for a while to me. Right. And I feel like we've been spending some time re-nesting. Yes, re-nesting. Yeah, that's yeah. been important. Yeah. Freaking A, there's water everywhere. It's, uh, uh, this thing, uh, this thing wasn't tight. I, uh, Jesus. I didn't tighten it all the way. All this senseless. There is no work. Fail, Jesus. baby, fail. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, learn, fail. This is learn. a learning fail. This is a, this is a learning opportunity. Oh, I get up all this water right. and then... Uh, is this the first time there's been water on our floor, baby? No, this process has, has revealed a couple of opportunities to rinse the floor. <laughs> but that's true, we haven't mopped in a while, so uh, <laughs> this, is, this has given us quite a few opportunities to do so and explore you know the access of our emergency towels uh, <laughs> and to um you know check our response time it's been it's been good it's we emergency response time yeah yeah you know i think uh all in all i would say that uh this was worth it <laughs> <laughs> worth it yeah. Enough screws? I got enough screws. I'm just making sure that this corner is. Uh, I don't want this to stick out further than the table. So these legs varied in price from $80 down to the Amazon Basics ones, which were 20, I think they're like 25 bucks or 27 bucks or something like that. So uh, they're strong, they're the same exact sort of things, but the $80 ones would have came in teal. Cleaning. 
This just arrived. Yeah. It's uh, bigger than I thought it would be. Yeah? yeah? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's a great thing. You know, but, um, I think it's... Have you tried opening it yet? The door? Yeah. No, I don't want to keep it taped or only pick it up and oh. take it in. Yeah, good idea. But uh, the next home improvement has arrived. Right. <laughs> I feel it. like we're in the middle of several home improvements. They all need a little finishing touch. Yeah, well, this one is uh, a pretty... Uh... It'll be like ready to go without finishing touches needed. Mm -hmm. Let's go uh, carry it inside. We're not going to let you see that. Well, no, because it'll be a lot of grunting and, uh, you know, my back gets, it gets, it gets sore. And if you got a bad back, put your hands up. I hurt my back two summers ago, moving a fridge, and ever since then it just, it's not the same. You know, it, it gets pretty, it gets pretty sore. Remember uh, a few episodes when I had a surgery? A few episodes ago? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and I'm just weak in general, so. Yeah, I'm not confident. And I'm, that's a week for a woman. If you want to mess with me, I think you probably can because I'm not confident and I'm weak for a man. Okay. There's stage Part one. way in. I'm dying so far. But up the, up the stairs. We have three more stairs to go. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Almost there. <sighs> Almost. <laughs> well, I'm caught. My belt's caught. <laughs> Oh, I can stuck on the door. There we go. You don't need two strong people. You can use two weak ass people like us. <laughs> Is that what the box said? Two strong people? No, that's what all the people are like. Hey, remember when you're doing it, when you're doing install, make sure you have a couple extra people to help you maneuver it around. And we, we are veal and we got it in here. <laughs> I am like a butterball ham. Ready for Thanksgiving and yet. Why are you bam. wearing a sweater, man? It's hot today. It's hot now. <sighs> Couldn't show off these guns. <laughs> All <And> right. <laughs> All right. Now we got to hook it up. Well, you got to see the fact that my husband cleaned out this closet. There's no more of my husband's stuff in this closet. We had to move it into the back closet. Yeah, I got my own dressing room now. <laughs> he, has a, he has a dressing room. That's what we have made of Luna's old room. Is it, he just now Chris's dressing room. Step one, remove grommets. Done. Wallace. Whoa. Oh, that was all my tools. Taking the dive. Step two. Spill dump all tools. Spill all your tools. What's that, babe? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was just my old man grunting. That's the drain? Yep. Well, this doesn't reach yet. As we slide her into place, Miss Splendy, Splendy Jenkins, will uh, be all set. Okay, let's show you your bliss. Whites. Colors. <laughs> Here's to uh, San Pellegrino, sponsor of today's washing machine episode. I'll tell you what, if it weren't for San Pellegrino, people just wouldn't wear clothes. San that, Pellegrino. Visit their website for more. That's going to help us get up a sponsorship. <laughs> Alright, let's see what is here. What I like so far is that the door comes flush with it, so it's not like I have to reach in. You know what I mean? It's going to be super easily accessible. We're not starting yet because um, it's kind of hot today. It's like 82 degrees inside. So we're going to wait for that to not be the case. And we're putting the air conditioning on and then we'll start a load of laundry. Also, um, this place, we're not supposed to have a washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. Oops. Um, what are they going to do? Like, come listen at the side of our RV to check? Yeah. 
I'm talking about how we're not listening to the rule of not having a washer and dryer. Look, uh, we ordered it before we knew there was rules. And um, we just won't use like Tide. We use other detergent. Right, once we're done with this one. No, actually, I was, I was bringing it in here because I was going to read this. If it's safe, septic safe mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, listen, once again, we're not good at following rules we don't care about. Other people are good people. We're bad, normal. Bad people. We might be bad people, but we're, I would say, normal. You know, we don't try to pretend. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to get something else. He says on camera. No, I'm going to get something else. Like I told He's you, probably serious about it. I, I, to use I just am cheap, and so I'm like, let's go through what we have. Unscented OxyClean and natural detergents is what I want to use. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't Hippie! Say it doesn't say anything. Despite the fact that it's, what, 11.44, my husband is going to go ahead and do our first load of laundry. Yeah, we'll let it run all night, because it takes like a couple hours. If it's loud, oh well, he has said. So, um, we'll see. Oh yeah. It's all wet and working now. You're stoked to have laundry as a part of your life. Mm -hmm. To not have to go places every single or every other weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's be real. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty stoked too. I feel like now that we have our two washers, we don't we don't need any kid slaves. Mm -hmm. I stole your eyes. You <laughs> stole <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> You put your fingers in my drink? No. Yeah, you did. Yeah, okay, I did. You freaking put your fingers in the water I'm about to drink. Those dirty fingers yeah. that have been scratching on the dog who okay. likes to roll in things. Okay, but you got me and that's camera, in my drink. And that's really rude because I have something in my mouth and it's really rude. Yeah, because you stole my drink. <laughs> I gave you light, lady. I gave you washing oh, machine. Washing I gave you dishwasher machine. I gave you Lucifer. I really like ice. Ice. Tisk tisk. <laughs> so we've had the washer and dryer, the washer dryer combo, splendid, for a week and a half or so now. And I'll say that when it first comes out, as I was warned, it's a little damp. And so we do have the option of putting it in on a, like a second dry cycle. And by the time it comes out of that, I think it's doable. It also lets us do it for up to like two hours, um, that dry cycle. And we don't put it for two straight hours. I guess if we did that, I'm sure it'd be perfectly dry. Um, but so far, so good. I'm happy with it. Um, I can't speak to its longevity. It's beeping behind me now. It's done with its load. Um, but I can speak to the convenience. It's straight up in my house. I have officially like cleaned every piece of clothing that I and my husband own as of that beep. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. I love it. I keep waiting for the other shoe to drop like something's gonna break. But let's hope not. Yeah. Our home is moving. <laughs>